Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Invin. Today I am bringing you guys a high round strategy guide video. This video is going to help you get to the high rounds on Die Machina but also on all zombies once you learn the aspects of this method and how it works. It's going to go through a step by step tutorial of how to do this starting from the very first round. How you should build up your game to enable you to get to the right point at the right time and how to quickly do this and safely do this more importantly so that you can last to these high rounds and obviously get those refined and flawless Ethereum crystals very 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 quickly now if you do find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe down below we're pushing to 200 subs and we're getting very very close so your support would mean a absolute ton for me and obviously drop a like on this video if you do enjoy and share it with any friends who you might think will find this useful as well so jumping straight into the video here the first thing you're going to want to do in the first room if you play in duo we're doing this all on duo but it is doable on solo obviously you just don't need to split the points as we have but on duos you want to get one person to get five kills on the first round in the first room and one person to get three the person with three opens the first door the person with five opens the second door and this gets you to the top of the next totem building straight off the bat on round two where it's going to be exceedingly easy to get all of the kills very very quickly now obviously if you're doing this on three or four players it's exactly the same priority just make sure that one person or two people split the money to get enough for 750 and 1000 for both the doors respectively once you're up here this is where you're going to want to set up you just want to go through the rounds as quickly as possible at this point killing them with whichever starting weapon you went with i went with the lc10 here as it's the new gun at the moment moment and I just tried to level it up and it actually does a ton of levels as well killing the zombies here so it's definitely worth leveling up a gun if you want to but get something that's going to be good when you pack a punch it because you're probably going to want to hold out here until around wave 28 is when the box rolls pretty much all purples and golds and you've got a higher chance of getting those wonder weapons from the box there as well but we'll get onto that in just a moment so we're going to do the rest of this from the perspective of a duo so you're going to want to stay in the top spot there until both of you have roughly around 10k or when you split the money up it's roughly 10k each so in this instance we had about 8k and about 14 um, and this worked absolutely fine you can go through and open all the doors easily with that money and both still pack a punch once you get down there which is absolutely fantastic this is what you want to be able to do open up the power open up the pack a punch and get on that straight away now you'll see gameplay here as well of how to unlock the pack a punch machine so you go through the aether tunnel someone goes upstairs a little star icon on the map with a white background that says aether tunnel press your interact button to go through this tunnel and there will be a pack a punch machine part at the bottom of this teleporter pick that one up pop it into the pack a punch which is in the middle of the downstairs room that will take you back to the normal zombies world and will open up the pack a punch so that you can then use it this is basically the only step that you need to do in terms of opening doors turning on power and everything like that for this strategy to be viable but then you can also obviously get perks if you want to as well however there is an easier way the easy way for this is to go into the dark aether again the portal usually spawns where you turn the power on if you go into this straight away you will be able to access the wonder physics machine which is at the top of the Naxa and Totem building. This will allow you to buy any perks that you want in the game and does become available in the quote unquote normal zombies realm after wave 19. So this is just if you want to do this pre wave 19. Now you'll also see in the gameplay here we managed to get the DIE shockwave machine very very quickly and it's going to show you how to do it. So first of all what you'll need to do is wait for one of the big hazmat zombies to spawn in. When they do spawn in and you eventually kill it it will drop a gold key card. Make sure you pick this up. You're then going to head down to the Deadshot Daiquiri room Room where there's a box spawn location and you'll see the gameplay here of where to insert the card but you pop it into the console it pops out a draw and that's another key card in that it's actually the detector for the DIE shockwave machine now you pick this up and then head up to the natural totem building in the first place that you opened up on the map you will see there is a door there what you want to do is get a load of zombies together run past activate the machine on the side as you see me doing the gameplay and stand pretty much where I was this will make sure that all the zombies walk past get sucked up by the machine and then you can go back interact with it again as you can see and the door blows off and you can pick up the DIE shockwave machine to use and that is a free way to get a wonder weapon very very early on now usually the hazmat zombie spawns about round 12 so this is very early on to get it and it means that this weapon is very very good e easily up until about wave 30 so it can carry you through the lower rounds of the game very quickly the strategy is then just a case of playing out the rounds as quickly as you possibly can. We like to just grab all the nukes that drop. Um, the insta-kills are not worth getting because Ring of Fire doesn't charge when you actually have an insta-kill active. So we personally don't get insta-kills, but if you are literally just going for the quickest rounds possible, you could grab insta-kill. However, I do prefer Ring of Fire. Personal preference, but entirely up to you, just so you know both sides of it. 
Um, once you've got up to round 28, you then want to start leaving a zombie to spin the box. Now, this is where you've got a higher chance of getting the ray gun and obviously higher chance of getting those better tier weapons. So if one of you wants to run the DIE shockwave and the ray gun and the other person wants to run a ray gun and a different secondary weapon for whatever reason, then this is probably the best chance to get that weapon as well after round 28 as you do have a lot more chance of getting those purple and golden tier weapons, which is what you want to be upgrading. Once you have got the desired weapons, if you are playing a duo, both of you do need to have the ray gun for this to work successfully particularly past round 40 as this is when it gets very very hectic now both the zombies health and speed does cap out after round 50 uh, the health caps out in the late 30s and the speed cuts out in the late 40s in terms of rounds so once you get to about round 49 50 ish this is the cap for zombie health and speed so if you can clear it at that difficulty you will be able to clear every round going forward the only difference going forward is there's going to be more and more zombies now with the pack a punch ray gun you do have enough ammo to clear every single wave at least up until wave 1 20 which is what we've tried so far but watching videos and watching streams that kind of thing it is easily doable up until wave 200 300 with the amount of ray gun ammo that you have if for whatever reason you do run out there is a box literally underneath where you are standing for this strategy so you can run down particularly if you've got monkeys or decoys and it's very easy to just grab the ammo and get back to the spot safely however if not just go at the end of the round make sure you're fully topped up and you need 160 reserve every single round so even if you've just got a max ammo and you've killed a few zombies afterwards it's still Still worth buying the ammo it does cost 10k but the points should not be a problem you should have a few million points by point of the game anyway so just make sure you go ahead fill up your ammo and then head back to the top and this should be pretty smooth sailing ring of fire needs to go down every time there's a boss and every time that you've got one up in between that as well that you want to use it but make sure somebody is always saving one for the boss rounds you can kind of work out when they are the kind of sequence through the game so you can get a rough idea of when one will be coming and just make sure you've got one saved for that because obviously their later rounds is essential to kill them and then you can just basically go through the rounds very very quickly with this setup you've got all the perks behind you if you do for whatever reason go down we like to also get a self revive kit and a chopper gunner so that if anything does go very very wrong you can always chop a gunner someone can self res or they can revive you after they've come out the chopper and you've got a little bit of an extra escape method there again if you can successfully exfil if you are going for the crystals this is the best way to get an extra one it just gives you an extra flawless at the end of the game which is really really nice so obviously if you can do that you might as well but hopefully this guide has helped some of you out and gives you a bit of an insight onto how you can do the high level strategy very easy and very safely obviously it's not very easy to get to the high high level so it may well take some practice once you work out a method that works well for you and your squad you'll be able to finesse this every time and get to some high rounds getting a lot of xp and more importantly a lot of those ethereum crystals now if you have enjoyed this video and it's been helpful don't forget to drop a like and subscribe down below and let me know in the comments what your highest round is currently in zombies thank you guys for watching take care and peace